Hello, YouTubers, French compatriots, the liquor shields, desolate search, peasants, vassals, minions, meat sacks. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. And uh, I'm going to do another musical video. And it's a little belated. Um, but once again, it's the passing of a, an important musical figure. Uh, and as my regulars know, and I always say, uh, my regulars know that I do occasional videos about uh, music legends, icons, or personal heroes. And this is one of those videos. And uh, this is Dick Wagner, a uh, Detroit uh, guitar player, legendary guitar player. And uh, he passed away actually a year ago. And thanks to one of my subscribers uh, for bringing up the fact that Dick Wagner died, because unfortunately he's one of those figures where uh, you might not hear about it, because uh, it's not certainly not going to be in the news too much. And uh, my hat tip to that subscriber, I tried to go back and find the comment so I could thank them. But uh, anyway, here's my tribute to Dick Wagner a year later. And it's important uh, for me uh, to make this tribute to Dick Wagner because uh, I got to see a band of his called Ursa Major uh, in the early 70s, about 71 or 72, and they opened for Alice Cooper. And uh, since then, I found out that... Uh, over the years, of course, that uh, Dick Wagner was in a band called Frost out of Detroit, who had a, a peculiar mix of pop and uh, Detroit high-energy rock. Uh, they made three albums uh, in the late 60s, uh, going into the early 70s, and uh, had some regional success, but uh, really didn't uh, catch fire, certainly not on a national or international level. And um, so then, uh, because of the talents, involved, uh, Dick Wagner uh, put together this group uh, called Ursa Major, and uh, it apparently was going to be uh, uh, involved with Billy Joel uh, in this group as well, and uh, he uh, plays keyboards on the record, uh, but I, I wasn't aware that he was actually uh, considering being a full-time member of the band, but uh, anyway, uh, like I say, it's a very a personal thing for me because the Ursa Major record was very important to me as a as a young young headbanger in uh, the year 1972, I believe. Yeah, 1972. So uh, very fortunate for me to get to see the band live, and I have to say that they re reproduced the sound of uh, this single album of theirs. Uh, they reproduced the sound uh, extremely well, and this record is uh, noted by a lot of uh, uh, archetype. Uh, 70s hard rock moves. It's just got it got some interesting long uh, uh, arrangements, complicated arrangements for the time with a lot of the kind of flashy moves that we expect from a, a 1970s power trio, and um, and a very romanticized uh, lyrics, uh, very idealistic and, and some would say naive lyrics, and uh, a lot of firepower, great guitar sounds. And uh, produced by the same uh, guy, Bob Ezrin, that produced Alice Cooper and early Aerosmith. And that's why uh, most people know uh, Dick Wagner as a sideman for all these uh, Bob Ezrin projects. And, and in fact, uh, uh, Dick Wagner ended up playing with Kiss and Aerosmith and Meatloaf and Alice Cooper and Lou Reed uh, uh, for many years. And, and, um, and uh, he did great side work for them. And in fact, he was first brought in uh, to Alice Cooper to augment the, the band uh, because uh, the band was getting addled with drugs, particularly their guitar player, Glenn Buxton. So Dick Wagner was actually going, went on tour with them uh, in their last couple of tours to help bolster their sound. But uh, anyway, I'm, I'm kind of getting sidetracked. I want, I, I want to get back to this Ursa Major uh, record because uh, I want to talk about Dick Wagner in the sense that uh, here was this great talent because of what a lot of people don't know um, from his work as a sideman, Dick Wagner had a, a truly amazing, one-of-a-kind rock tenor voice that has to be heard to be believed and appreciated, uh, which is featured on this record. And uh, not only that, just left to his own devices, um, he wrote some very uh, uh, beautiful songs and some amazing uh, rock anthems for uh, the 70s. Uh, with a huge sound and a very uh, distinctive guitar style. And uh, I, I just always think it's interesting that he, he only ended up doing a solo album or two. And uh, this record, uh, where he got to explore all his talents as a writer, as a singer, and a guitar player. And that's 
the Dick Wagner that uh, I I remember, the Dick Wagner that I love and the Dick Wagner that I will miss, uh, is the consummate uh, artist working in that rock field as a singer, guitarist, and writer of uh, a, a truly impressive nature. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too?